Hi guys, in this Flash and ActionScript 3.0 NPHP lesson, I'll show you how to create a Flash page hit counter. Whether you want to track page hits site-wide on your Flash website or track your individual Flash pages separately to really understand what content people are most interested in your website or what pages they're most interested in. And uh, this is going to use PHP and a text file. The text file is going to be for storage of the the number that we're going to be using and incrementing. And PHP is the, the dynamic language that's going to be uh, processing that number for us within the text file and communicating back and forth with our flash file. And that's how it's going to work. And this is uh, from one of our forum members, Strider2384. He asked uh, if we could show him how to make an ActionScript 3 hit counter and he was looking at a tutorial uh, because he found a tutorial on karupa.com that talks about making one using uh, PHP files in ActionScript 2 I think uh, so what we're gonna do and then I responded and I said uh, do you have a MySQL database set up for your server yet and uh, or would you like to take an easier approach and see a PHP and text file number storage method and I told him I'll make a t video tutorial out of either method he requested and he said that he would like the text file method and I would like to mention right now that uh, I would I would myself I would use the MySQL method instead of a text file database I would use a MySQL database because I think it'd be a little faster and a, a lot more st uh, stable uh, the text file will have stability issues when you start getting a lot of traffic and uh, if there's many people accessing that script at the same exact time I think they'll that you'll run into problems. With the MySQL and PHP setup, I think it'll be a little more uh, smooth and all of the numbers process correctly. So, with that said, I'm also going to say that I'm not going to karupa.com to reference any code there. I have my own way of doing things and coding things and I'm I'm pretty good at coding so I don't need to go and reference anybody else's code at any other site and I have learned things from other coders online in the past yes but uh, I just want the people the administration at karupa.com to know that we're not going to give you credit for any of this because I didn't go and look at any of your code okay so first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and close that out and uh, I have here in flash an example file let's say this is my website it's all kind of cool things in here, buttons and everything. And it's my home page on my website. And uh, here's a layer. It says My Page. And all I have on here is static text fields, some, uh, you know, just cosmetics to make it look like something. And then uh, what I'm going to do is take a static text field. And I'm going to type in, uh, let's see, number of page hits. If I can type. Okay, so we got number of page hits equals now let's select it and make it black. You can see it a little better. Bold it out down there. Down there. And uh now we're gonna take it make sure it's highlighted on stage press control C and control shift V to paste it in place and let's drag it on over and double click it actually don't double click it just yet just highlight it turn it to a dynamic text field and give it an instance name this is how we're going to connect to it in the code so it's important call it hit count underscore txt so now we have a hit count text field that's going to display that number when we go and get it. So let's just move this over, give it enough space in it to where it'll show a number, and it's aligned to the left, and it's the same text setup as this one. And if you want it to display really nice uh, and correctly without um, pixelating, you can embed it. Press embed, lowercase, uppercase, numerals, punctuation, press OK, and now it will display just like this one. And if you had a funky text, you embed that funky text and it will display to all the users 
all the visitors to your site even if they don't have that text installed on their machine that's a good good thing to do is embed your dynamic text fields I always embed my dynamic text fields every time I make a dynamic text field on stage except for some of my tutorials but if I'm making a site for somebody you best believe every dynamic text field that's running dynamic information is embedded okay so now we have our page all set so once you have your flash page yours would be already made and everything you just put this uh, two things down here at the bottom static text field and then a dynamic text field dynamic text field needs an instance name of hit count underscore txt now we'll create a new layer and we'll start coding this puppy out first thing we'll do, need to do is assign a variable name for the URL's variables object because I like to send variables with all of my PHP requests for security reasons and stability reasons and accuracy reasons so uh, we'll call it variables colon this is URL variables equals new URL variables object open close parentheses and semicolon okay now the next line we're going to uh, build the var send variable and now we're gonna the URL uh, that we're going to connect to in the PHP file and uh, this one you want to make sure you have the fi the correct file path referencing or it won't connect to it on your server so let's call this one var var send and if you see in any of my other PHP and uh, ActionScript 3 tutorials this will all look very familiar and this one is the uh, what am I doing URL uh, request yeah this is URL request equals new URL request sorry I lost my mind there and we're gonna name it I'll give it the file path referencing now and this is gonna be hit parse file dot php hit parse file dot php close the parenthesis and oh no close the double quote then the parenthesis then the semicolon okay now we can build the uh, var send method or claim the var send method so we'll say var send dot method equals URL request method 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 dot post and this is all capitals now it's sending the variables to the PHP file using the post method and not the get method now we'll say var send dot data equals variables so it knows when it sends this variables going along with it and now we're gonna build the, uh, the var loader variable var var loader colon URL loader equals new URL loader okay so that's the name of our new loader object and uh, now we're gonna set the data format Let's see var var loader dot data format Ugh, I'm having trouble typing my fingers are cold y'all it's freezing it's freezing over here in North Carolina okay so uh, loader dot data format equals URL data format URL loader 
data format, I think it is. Let's see if I can get this right. Data. If it all turns green, I'm good. Ah, yes. <laughs> I'm getting good at this action script crap. Okay, and then dot variables, and this would be all capital. Okay, so now we have the data format for the var loader all set up. And now all we need is an event listener for that thing. So var loader dot add event listener. And this is for the uh, complete event dot complete. And we'll give it the function name that's going to fire off when it completes. And we'll create that function in just a second. Complete handler, boom, and close parenthesis, semicolon, and that's it. Now we'll uh, set up the next set of things here. Okay, now we're just about done with the action script, so all we have to do is send a little variable request code. So variables dot request code, and this is, I like to code this in for security and stability and accuracy equals you don't actually have to send a variable to that PHP file you can just tell the PHP file to activate and do its hit count uh, increment so we say add one and that's going to be my request code so in the PHP file I'm going to be looking for that little add one there and if I don't see it if the PHP file is going to be programmed to to where if it doesn't see that requested from this flash file it won't process anything so it's a good thing to do now uh, let's say var loader take that var loader we created and let's load the uh, variables in now var send variable the var send variable being the URL request and the URL request has a var loader attached to it with variables that's what that means okay now, that's when it's going to send it at that very moment. This line here, number 12, is going to send it to the PHP file. Now all we need is a little function for when the data comes back from PHP. We want to display the correct number in the hit counter dynamic text field. All right, that's what it's all about. So we'll go to function, complete handler. This is the, remember we named the function here. Complete handler. Open parenthesis. This is event dot uh, colon. Sorry, not dot. Uh, this is event event. Or you could put e colon event. However you wanted to claim that, but event colon event colon void. And now we'll open our curly brace curly brackets, whatever the hell those things are, and then uh, inside we'll do the last two lines that'll have this thing complete and then we'll create the PHP file and the little text file database and you're good to go. So let's see, uh, here we have to put a variable and then load it into the text field. So let's say var the account var let's name it count var and then, 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 equals event we're going to reference this little guy right here see that event if you named yours e here if yours happened to be e right here oops it just said E, which a lot of scripts do. Uh, this would be E right here, I do believe. I think that's how that works. But let's just stick with the standard there. Okay, event dot target dot data. And this is going to be the data that we want to bring back from the PHP file and we'll code the PHP file to send this exact variable back. 
and now all we need to do is put into our hit count text field dot text equals this uh, count bar right here and that's it that concludes the action script that's needed and see it's not very much at all and this so all this code and everything's going to be available the source code will be available the whole flash source code and all the files the PHP and the text file everything will be uh, available for download free at developphp.com if you really want to get to the the actual code that I created in the working application so now that we have the flash intact it's going to every time the page is accessed in somebody's browser it's going to go and look at that PHP file PHP file is going to talk back to it with some numbers and that's going to be the page hits an accurate page hit count alright so now let's go to I guess uh, Dreamweaver Dreamweaver and I use Dreamweaver 8 because I don't know I don't like CS4 for some reason <laughs> whatever I know it's great but whatever I don't uh, I don't use a lot of pre-baked things so I could really just use WordPad for what I do uh, so let's go into but I do like hi, uh, syntax highlighting so that's the reason why I use something like Dreamweaver and plus the tools the design view tools are really cool I'm not gonna lie I do use it so uh, let's go to create new HTML first thing we want to do is create this text file uh, so let's put a zero in it and let's save it as and here's my hit counter little example directory I'm working in and I'm gonna name it flash hit count and this must be a text file so you have to go down make sure it's .txt extension or it's not gonna connect to it the PHP file won't connect to it so once you have that you save it and it has a zero in it we start with the default value of zero it's important to put that zero in there. Now, uh, let's create a uh, PHP parse file now, which is going to be the magic of it, really, of the whole application. So, a new dynamic page, PHP, get rid of all that crap, and uh, let's set up our PHP tags. PHP, and then enclose PHP tag, put a bunch of space in the middle and this is where we code our script in between those two tags alrighty okay there's not going to be very much to this PHP script and uh, the logic of it is what it's going to do is it's going to read the text file every time it's accessed it's going to read the text file and it's going to get the number that's in the text file the current number then it's going to take that number add one to it put the number back the new number back into it and also at the same time send that new number back into flash for display so when the next visit comes it does the same thing adds one boom ba boom ba boom you see how it works okay so the first thing we're going to do is claim the let's see the if statement to check and see if our request code is correctly so I'm going to set up an if statement nest there's an if statement nest like a skeleton for an if statement and inside of it we're gonna look for the post variable post and, mm, 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 mm. and in between your single quotes in there inside the brackets you look for add one. Oh, sorry this is request code my bad you look for the request code variable name and make sure it equals add one there we go if the post from flash request code which we set up to be add one equals add one that means this file if somebody was to go to it in the straight from the browser straight to the URL of this file it won't process only if the flash file is asking for it will this file process okay so now we have our if statement set up there so let's put everything inside of that now 
Okay. Now we're going to claim a variable for the text file database variable name. That way we can use it easily in the code. So text database equals double quotes and then a semicolon. And in between your double quotes, put the name of that text file we just created. It was named flash hit count, right? Flash hit count dot txt. That's a text file. So the uh, now the next line is going to be the current number variable. Current number equals and here we're going to use a, a PHP method of file get contents. And you can see what this method's all about by going to php.net and every other PHP method for that matter. PHP.net is where I learned everything where I learn everything I know about PHP. And you guys should too if you're looking to learn some PHP, the real code core. Okay, so that's PHP.net. Um uh current number equals get file contents. And this is a good clean way just to read the contents of a file. And uh pack it into a current number variable here. So at this point when the PHP file is running, it takes the number from the text file database and puts it in our uh, variable here so we can now use it. Now the next line we're going to open a file handler. Just call it fh equals we're going to use the fopen method or the fopen function. Uh, uh, double quote uh, parenthesis and then add your uh, text file database to that this name here let's grab this just pop it right in there and what we're going to do to the text file is write to it now so let's put single quotes w single quote and that sets it up to be written to and there's a lot of different you can append to text files, you can uh, just read them, write to them. And I put the W there because we're going to be writing. Or die! Write or die! And the or die is uh, error handling type function that's native to that open file can't open file. Uh, let's not put that single quote in there. Cannot. Cannot open file. Alrighty. Now, I'm going to claim a new number. And the new number is going to equal our current number plus one. It's that simple. That increments the value over and over again. And then uh, I'm going to slice this little edit right here into this spot. Uh, where I claimed current number up here, when I was writing out my script, I had it like this. And you'll notice that I did, and that is incorrect. I'm too used to ActionScript. Plus, I had the variable name wrong to begin with. I didn't put the uh, dollar sign there on it. But this is the correct PHP file configuration. The data that we're going to write into the file now is going to be the new number. So let's put double quotes, semicolon, and in between that we'll put new number. Okay, so the data that we're going to write back into the file is uh, that new number. So let's F write. Open parenthesis, close parenthesis, semicolon, and here we're going to have the file handler and the uh, the data that new number and now we've got to close this up so we'll F close the file handler so in there we just put the file handler variable that closes it all up and now all we have to do is 
make ourselves a comment here and say print the no the new number back to flash now and to do that it's very simple you just type print double quotes and semicolon inside the double quotes let's put the uh, in flash we're looking for a certain variable from this and it's called count var the PHP count var and it's going to equal this new number and that's pretty much it that's the end of the application let's test it out make sure we got everything correctly so PHP a new number everything's closed alright now let's save this file let's go and see what we need to save it as what did we say it was hit parse file now let's save it save as our hit parse file dot php it's already set as a php okay now we can close out dreamweaver and or you re really want to test it first so let's go online okay let's put all these files up that we just created on the server test it out so you guys know I'm not full of crap and you can see a live working example on a server that's equipped to handle PHP parsing and your server needs to be equipped to handle PHP parsing or this won't work for you so we put up the AC run active content JS we put the flash hit count txt the hit parse file PHP the SWF which is our main flash file and the this would be normally index.html because it would be your your index page of your flash website so everything would be in the same directory and that's how it works now let's go online to that directory and you can see it takes the zero from our text file database and it made it a one now if somebody else came to the site let's press refresh it's a two now it's a three. Let's press refresh. It's a four. It's working. It's incrementing. Beautiful. Okay, so now that's uh, solid visual proof that it's working. I don't want to hear any complaints out of anybody. No wham 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 won't work on my server. I don't care. If your server's not equipped to handle PHP or uh, you have some kind of code error. Uh, look over your stuff real good that's all I could say make sure your your server can handle PHP first and then look over your, all your code real good your directory structure everything okay and like I said before these files will be available at develop PHP the PHP the PHP the text file and everything you need and the flash file alright we'll see you guys next lesson